I'm Dr. Paul Janssens and I'm a research fellow at Deakin University. Working with people with dementia, delivering telehealth approaches, I found there was a massive barrier for older adults that included dementia, accessing traditional approaches such as smartphones and web-based applications because it requires people with dementia or people with older adults in general to be familiar and to have the manual cognitive dexterity to engage with that platform. So there's emerging evidence of new telehealth approaches and one being voice assistance. And voice assistance is a tool that supports two-way conversations that may break some barriers of traditional telehealth approaches. I led a world first trial of delivering a personalised exercise program using the Alexa platform. And we found participants were over 115% adherence to an exercise program over 12 weeks. We also found that there was a level of acceptability and accountability engaging with a platform that supports two-way conversations. We've started a co-design process with consumers, that is people with dementia and their carers, and we've run several workshops online with people from all over Australia to understand their lived experiences of dementia. What are some of the things they've done differently since being diagnosed with dementia? What are some of the things the carers have done differently to help them? We've taken that information to see how can the Alexa help with those interventions. The benefits of Alexa is that it's voice activated, so they're just using natural conversation. And secondly, they don't have to remember any passwords, any login IDs. They can use their voice to say, Alexa, I need help making a cup of tea. Have you filled the kettle with water now? Yes. Next, ensure the kettle is plugged in and switch the kettle on. You can then break the tea making process down into several steps from filling the kettle, turning the kettle on, remembering to add the milk, the sugar, remembering to remove the tea bag and finally enjoying their cup of tea. With thanks to the Bartell Estate and Dementia Australia Research Foundation, we've been able to successfully complete the co-design phase of the workshop and we are commencing the recruitment of the trial phase of this workshop. Ultimately, if this research is successful, there'll be immediate short-term benefits for the person with dementia in their ability to cope with daily living activities. There'll be a reduction in carer burdens for the families and ultimately we hope to have people with dementia living at home independently for longer. I feel that there's massive scope for this project and it's extremely exciting that it can reach people anywhere and anytime and potentially in numerous languages and dialects. So that's where the future of this research is potentially going to head.